Okay, let's try going from scratch. I mean, uh, we've started with some presets and we started to manipulate them really from there. So something you can do from the preset menu here is we've got an option here called fresh patch. Let's try that. Okay, so it's just straight through, nothing in the middle, straight input, straight output. This is a sample for testing Dehumanizer. It responds to dynamic changes, loud and soft. Okay, we've been hearing that dialogue a little bit. So let's try another example. Here's some, uh, here's some I made earlier of me talking. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. This morning, I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. Who's taken my coffee? Where are you guys? So a little window into my life for you there. Um, just because I don't want to listen to the uh, test examples all night, and I'm sure you don't want to either. Let's try a little bit of our other dialogue. And I'll also switch over to some live, dial some live performance as well. So um, let's try building up something from scratch. Let's try a module we've not used yet. Let's try the ring modulator. So uh, another small detail actually about these modules, you've got these little marks here. Um, those basically uh, tell you how many versions, or how many, how many, how many of these modules you can have. So ring modulator here, we've got two. So if I drag one out, that goes down to one. So you can have two, two versions of almost everything in the plugin. You've got two versions, of, in fact, you've got two versions of everything apart from the noise generator. Okay, so let's experiment with our ring modulator here. It's a, it's a classic effect for robotic uh, types of processing and, and all sorts of creative design. So let's try that now with our dialogue. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. This morning, I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. Who's taken my coffee? Okay, so we're getting a nice robotic effect. Uh, it's very quick, it's just classic. Uh, let's see what else we can do. We've got a bunch of different waveforms we can try. We've got a sine wave, a square wave. Let's see, uh, square wave's gonna give us something pretty noisy. Let's try that. Testing one, two, three. <coughs> this morning, I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. Okay, so what we can do now is blend, using our slider here, blend between the square wave and a sine wave on the other side. So we can do a little bit of wave shaping here on the modulator, on the ring modulator. So the, no, the, the square wave is really noisy. That's, that's, that's absolutely great, and that'd be good for something else. What I've got in my mind at the moment is something still quite clean. So I'm just going to move the slider over to the, the other hand side to the sine wave. So I'm going to have a cleaner output. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. This morning I had coffee and porridge for breakfast and then I came to work. Okay, so I've got a little bit of edge there, a little bit of noise from the square wave, but it's mostly sine wave. So it's still nice and clear. Okay, so let's adjust that a little. I'm gonna turn up the depth again. Let's hear that one more time. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. Cool, right. LFO. Everyone loves an LFO. It just makes things a lot more fun. Um, let's try introducing this into us into uh, the module. So this is going to uh, modulate our pitch. Testing one, two, three. Good morning. This morning I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. Who's taking my coffee? So we started getting something a little bit more crazy. Um, again, we can change the uh, the wave shape here as well. So if I bring the blend over and I select a square wave, we're going to get a very different type of effect. I'll turn the LFO up all the way so you can hear this. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. This morning I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. Who's taking my coffee? Where are you guys? So obviously if I turn that LFO up you know, pretty high, we're basically getting amplitude modulation and we're getting another, uh, another tone going on there, which means we can have a whole different set of, set of sounds going on. So let's try another ring modulator. Yes, let's use two, because we can. Let's hook them up. Uh, let's hear on you one, see what it sounds like. Turn the depth all the way up, just so we can hear that clean uh, process. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. This morning, I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. 
Okay, uh, let's use the gate on that one, because we were talking about making something a little bit more dynamic. And let's unsolo. Let's use both these modulators. Okay, so we're getting something... Oh, I ran away with me there. Okay, so we're getting something that's more robotic now. It's a bit different. It's a different type of effect. We haven't quite had that that effect before yet. So let's, since we started with a... And going straight to the output. Let's see what it sounds like now. What does our pitch shift to shift to? Uh, let's just make it quite subtle. Okay, so because on each ring modulator module you've got this depth mod this depth control, it's basically like a dry wet within the ring modulator. So I was just tweaking those as we go, so we start to hear the pitch shifting as well. So we're doing some ring modulation and some pitch shifting. Um, and we're just running that all in series. But of course we don't have to do that. So let's try some other outputs. And let's go straight to the output from here. I'm gonna move these modules around a little bit so you can see the signal flow a little more clearly. Testing one, two, three. The mission is back. This morning I had perfect points for breakfast and I can try. Okay, cool. I, I like that. And it's nice to have a little bit of the the ring modulated signal go straight to the output as well. Uh, what else can we add here? Let's try some granular processing as well. Maybe our maybe our dialogue needs a little bit of, I don't know, some weird kind of bubbling going on. So granular processing is great for that. Let's add another little layer of, um, layer of processing here. So I'm going to turn the density down. I'm going to solo this so we can hear what's going on. <laughs> Morning. I'm back. This morning I had coffee and porridge for breakfast, and then I came to work. Who's taking my coffee? Where are you guys? Okay, so we've got a little kind of weird bubbly, Testing one. little weird bubbly robot effect in there. That, let's try that in there as a little layer. Testing one, two, three. Good morning. My name is Matt. This morning I had coffee and porridge for breakfast. Who's taking my coffee? Where are you guys? Maybe I want that to be a bit more crazy. Testing one, two, three. Good morning, my name is Matt. This morning I had coffee and porridge for breakfast when I came to work. Who's taking my coffee? Where are you guys? Okay, so now we've gotten into mangling this dialogue pretty heavily. Uh, it's not sounding like the original at all. 